today on our 2015 Dodge Durango, we are test fitting our Kurt 20 by 60 cargo carrier with a weight limit of 500 pounds, part number C18150. And this cargo carrier is designed to fit a two, it, two inch hitch. Now if we do some measurements real fast, down here is our ground clearance. From the ground to the lowest point here, we've got about five and a quarter inches there. Our overall length added to the vehicle is about 28 and a quarter inches. And down here, our closest point that might hit the vehicle is about five inches away. And while we're down here, you can see that this is a pin and clip connected cargo carrier, which will allow for a little bit of shake in the cargo carrier, which is pretty normal for anything that has just a, a pin and clip. And we do have anti-rattle clips that are available on our website. If we look at the cargo carrier itself, you can see that it has an expanded steel bottom, which will allow for any dirt and debris to fall through. Now right over here, we're gonna see that we have about five and a half inches from the bottom to the top, which will allow you to stack anything up. And here on our railing allows for you to connect any bungees or straps that you need to, to tie down your personal belongings. Now the Dodge Durango is equipped with one exhaust on the passenger side and how it comes out is about to the point of the cargo carrier. We're just gonna measure this right here. It's about 12 and a half inches away from the cargo carrier. So you do wanna make sure you're careful when carrying any heat sensitive items down here. Lastly, we're gonna check the hatch clearance here. Now this is an automatic hatch, so you wanna make sure that everything stays out of the way so it will come up on its own. And from here, we've got about 17 and a quarter inches before it's gonna hit anything down here on the bottom. Now that you've seen how the Kirk Cargo Carrier 20 by 60 works on our 2015 Dodge Durango, let's see how it worked on our test track. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway.